So, hello everyone. Today we'll be doing another Brando tutorial. Been quite a long time, but today we will I'll, um today I will show you how to make the reverb sound effect or an echo kind of thing inside Blender. So, I'm just going to take out a video of my choice. Something was pretty I guess it has a good enough sound now. Okay, and so, you'll click on your blue, your white blue one, display a waveform, and this is your audio track. Shift D, G, Y to move it up. G, X, 1. You can kind of hear a little reverb, G, X, 2, I guess. And shift D, G, Y, 1, this just, you can make it just 2 or 3, and your um, G, X, this is just going to be your delay, how long it's going to um, start playing the other track, G, X, 2. Now you can cue the reverb sound effect. Ah! So that's it. Now I'm going to show you how to do a glitchy audio sound effect. This is basically where, like, you know, some little tiny pieces of audio will just keep looping. Kind of like it's getting stuck. And you can do this with video too. So you just K to cut, K again, shift, or just move this aside. Shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. How many times as you want it to be looping? Whoops. And. Ah, so much lag. It usually just happens. Wonder, but, um. So over here, I'm just going to uh, render this part out because you know, just so I can show you without lag. C, e. four nineteen, and then well, let's just do whatever here. Well, I'm just gonna render this out for you just to see. What um, glitchy audio, yeah, whatever, alright, control F12, if you got, the higher frame rate it is, the faster it's going to, like, have the video be looping, so, sometimes you won't, You'll see it pause if it's at like 60 FPS. If you make your cut longer so it loops slower, well, that just doesn't give it as much of a glitch effect. So let's see. Nope, that's not it. Yeah. But yeah. If you have a lower frame rate, it works better. So that's just my little mini audio slash video tip thingy. <clears throat> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.